What's up guys? I just pulled up to uh, Thomas Miata's house. He's gonna help me install some stuff on my car today, which I'm very excited about. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So this is what I got, guys. Picked up a uh, Jackson Racing M45 supercharger. Really cheap. So, uh, me and Tom are gonna try and get that installed today. I'll try and show you as much of it as I can. So yeah. made for it really yeah it's awesome that looks awesome basically it's like i got a big buck two freaking miata now just cut the holes for the intercooler it actually came out quite good That's going to be the fun one. So we've run into an issue, um, my hood won't close, because <laughs> of the way we've done the intercooler piping, which is pretty much the only way we can do it, we've even cut the, um, cut the hood up and get it to fit and it still won't close so we're all just butting our heads now trying to figure out um, what we can do to get it to fit we're thinking about going to get some exhaust pipe from the store and seeing if we can crush it down and get the hood to close that way That's the best bet. but we got everything else in and it idled and whatnot we still got a wire in the um, fly me out of voodoo box but that's not difficult we're sort of stuck on this at the minute so hopefully we figure something out Okay guys, we are now at Advanced Auto Parts. Let's go get some exhaust pipe and um, some vacuum line and any other little bits I see that I think we might need. Okay, so we've got the pipe. Hopefully it works. <laughs> it's gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna it's be gonna so work. ghetto. How's it coming along, Mr. Tom? I haven't even gotten one wire done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got all kinds of dirt on your oh. lens. <laughs> it's now still on there. They're still on there. That's Mad Max. <laughs> it is. That's what that is. It is. Yeah, man. You can roll with me anytime. Cool. Good shit. That doesn't right. look, it looks better than the PVC pipe. Yes. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. And then when you paint it, it'll be mm -hmm. alright. So we found a small uh, vacuum leak down by the... Um, dummy throttle body so we just had to RTV that and it's now idling good um, we're just running through and checking like the air fuel ratio and stuff on the OBD so hopefully we test drive it soon all right we're not gonna be able to tell what boost we're at easy peasy on this little drop yeah I don't understand what that noise is I have no idea it's definitely coming from the intake though, it's weird. Well, I feel like if it was a bearing or anything, you would hear it constantly. Yeah, I would like, imagine. Right now it's gone away. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That puts you in the seat a little bit. <laughs> that's pretty cool, I like it a lot. Okay, so it's now the next day. Um, we were up until about 2 o'clock in the morning. 
uh, messing with it, trying to get the idle set right. I managed to get it home, which is about an hour drive. The only problem we have right now is that when I come up to a stoplight and clutch in, it likes to die. So I had a look online and a lot of people are just saying to mess with the idle screw a bit and try and get that set right. So that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, it's all installed now. Um, the intercooler piping is temporary, even though it doesn't seem to be leaking any, which is good. The pulley that's on it now is only seems to be pulling in at about 4 psi. Um, it still moves a lot more than it did, but I'd like to get a little bit more out of it than 4 psi. So I also want to give a huge shout out to um, Tom for helping me get this installed. Um, he stayed up with me late last night and throughout the day getting that done. Um, so go check out his channel guys. Um, if you're into Miatas, you're into big power Miatas, um, anything V8 drifting, go check his channel out. He has a lot of awesome content on there. Um, I'll leave his link in the description. Um, go show him some love and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.